In today's video, I'm going to help you when faced with a shot when playing out of the trees. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a special request today from an avid viewer and a West End member who will remain nameless. He popped into the shop and said, it's all well and good Darren covering shots from the middle of the fairway, but I need a little bit more help from in the woods. So this shot today is for all the people who do find themselves in the woods whilst playing golf that more often than they'd want to do. If you are new to the channel, welcome on board. I post weekly content once on a Friday and a 60 second tune upon a Tuesday. So hit that subscription button below, along with that notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I upload any new content. We can't get away from the fact that whatever level of golf that we are, all of us will have faced a similar shot like this from time to time. Obviously some people play, experience this shot more times than other, hence the video that I'm doing today. But we've developed his own strategy. I know I've developed my own strategy over, over 30 years of playing golf and you know, I've played with a lot of people who have different strategies than myself. Um, I do know of people, you know, members of the golf club um, that have had a tree iron, you know, obviously something that they are quite happy to break. It's an old cl club, so if your club hits into the tree and the, and, the, and the shaft snaps, then it's not too much of a problem. I've also seen people who, who are right-handed players carry left-handed clubs and left-handed players carrying right-handed clubs so that obviously what they then can do is they can turn, you know, have the golf club in the right manner to play the shot out of the trees. So what strategies have you found? Are you one of these people who carry a, a tree iron or a left-handed or right-handed club? If you do, pop it in the comment section below. It's great to hear what strategies and things people do to get out. So when situation. faced with a shot like this, one of the first common problems I see most people do is they reach straight for their four iron, five iron, or a club which has got not a lot of loft on because they're wanting to keep it below the level of the trees, which is obviously something that you want to do. But you need to take stock first before you, you do and choose a club. So slow everything down. You've got to choose which direction you want to hit through. So which is going to give you the best success to get back out into play. And obviously this depends on your ability. So different avenues out of the trees and different paths out of the trees you'll see and be able to execute this shot more successfully, obviously depending on your skill level. So the other thing you've got to consider is, is how far do you have to get back out and into the fairway? So if you do get your lowest lofted club, your four iron and five iron, is it might catch in the rough and not get to the fairway. So you've got to give it enough height to, to get over, over that rough, because obviously you want it to get back into play, you want to get back onto the short stuff that will help you hit that third shot into that green. So we've chosen this path that we think we can get it back out into play. So what I would do is really focus on that intermediate target. I know I probably said it in, a, in the previous video about how to aim correctly, but I think it's very, very important when you're playing out of the trees to pick a target straight in front of you that you can aim your club with. So the line that I'm looking at is obviously that leaf there. But one of the things that I would do, obviously I've got a seven iron here. I've pulled a seven iron. And a normal seven iron would go straight up into the trees, but I'm using a 7.9 to give me the right amount of loft to get it over the rough. We've got about 15 yards of rough outside the level of the trees. We've probably got 20 yards to the end of the trees. So we've got 35 yards to get to the back onto the fairway. So we need a little bit of height on it. 
So I'm going to use a 7 iron, but I'm going to manipulate it now. So what I do is I put it back in the stance and push the hands ahead. So now that 7 iron has been very deal offed. It's probably now, now going to be a, a, a 4 iron, a, a 5 iron. But and also, because I'm using a shorter club, it's not so much a different situation in this one, but obviously within the trees, there's, there's branches hanging all over the place and you might be able to manipulate a shot out. This is not a shot that is, you know, a perfectionist shot. It's just to get it back out into play so that you can play your third shot from, from the fairway. So, ball back, hands ahead, and then it's it's probably just a long, pushy chip and run. That's a, probably a, the only thing that I can how I can describe it. And you're just picturing it going underneath the trees and getting back out into play. I hope today's video will help you get out of them trees a little bit more often and get that golf ball back into play. If you have enjoyed today's content, please give us a big thumbs up like. If you are new to the channel, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want wanting more of the content like this that I post out weekly, please hit that subscription button below along with the notification bell and you'll get that up content as soon as I've uploaded it. Thank you very much and I look forward to you tuning in on my next video.